human trafficking takes advantage of people through force, fraud, or coercion. The practice often forces victims into unwanted labor or commercial sex acts. It is a crime under both U.S. and international law. It is a crime against humanity. Human trafficking deprives people, who are all created in the image of God, of their dignity. Trafficking also denies basic human rights, the right to life, security, and personal freedom. Human trafficking returns huge profits, estimated at about $150 billion annually, to its perpetrators, while inflicting enormous suffering on its victims, their families, and society. Traffickers thrive where people are vulnerable and have limited options. People on the move and recent immigrants are especially at risk of exploitation. One estimate claims that at least 281 million people are international migrants. They are refugees, asylum seekers, labor migrants, and people displaced by conflicts and natural disasters. They are often fleeing floods, famine, war, violence, poverty, organized crime, political corruption, and climate change. When they reach another country, migrants are often vulnerable to legal consequences, including fines, detention, or deportation. In addition, travel routes often lead migrants right into the hands of organized trafficking networks. Immigration and human trafficking are clearly connected, especially in the United States. Migrants and immigrants, including children, are sold for sex and labor and exploited across a range of industries in the United States. Those who are trafficked may be forced to scrub dishes late at night, run milking machines in rural areas, deliver meals in busy cities, and wash hotel sheets. The root causes of human trafficking have been largely overlooked. While prosecution of traffickers is essential, it's not enough. We need to ask why desperate and suffering people migrate at all, especially women and children, forced to flee from their homes. The Alliance to End Human Trafficking, composed of Catholic sisters and their many allies, like the National Advocacy Center of the Sisters of the Good Shepherd, is committed to finding practical solutions to this root cause of human trafficking. This is a priority issue for all people of goodwill. Every life is a gift from God and is sacred. Every human being deserves to be protected and nurtured. We are all called to stand against these crimes that degrade our brothers and sisters. Connecting the dots between forced migration and trafficking is one way to start.